It has been an interesting three weeks. Um, distinguished participants, my friend and colleague, the director of the Africa Center for Strategic Studies, our respected dean, Dr. Gilpin, uh, my fellow colleagues from the Africa Center, our observers, all protocols observed. Welcome to the graduation ceremony and our closing to a profoundly interesting three weeks. And before I share my, uh, my remarks on those three weeks, uh, I want to take an opportunity to identify some people who have made a tremendous difference to this event uh, and who frequently don't, uh, don't get as much credit as they deserve. And I want to start with Matilda Macklin and Vinette Pompey. Please raise your hands and identify yourself. Stand up, both of you. These are our operations officers who made everything work over the last three weeks and did an absolutely superb job. Their counterparts on the academic side are J.R. Maley, please raise your hand, and Margot Shorey, who look closely at them. They are among your principal contacts on the academic side back here at the Africa Center. If you need something and you can't find me, find them. I also want to recognize our community affairs personnel, Michelle Cavalcani, Sarah Passman, and uh, Drew, where are you? You here as well? Yes, Drew. All three of you. Now, these are very, very important to you because they are the heart of our alumni program. And I'm going to talk about that program uh, in, a, in a little greater detail in a moment. I also want to recognize Amanda Leverett, who is our protocol representative. <laughs> Marie Millward in the back, who is drafting the program summary that, <laughs> that I fully expect you will make use of. It will be translated into Portuguese, French, and English. And it is my hope that you will see to it that key leaders read it in your countries, as we attempt to do here in the United States, sometimes with remarkable success. Uh, I want to recognize Ron Gacky. Are you here, Ron? Oh, he is the IT person who struggled, as you did, with connectivity here and I must say, did so very, very well. He's the reason that we managed to make the Cyber Cafe work for you. So uh, I'll have to pass my, my compliments to him separately. I would like all of our facilitators to please stand. All of you, please stand up. Facilitators, where are you? They are the heart of our program. And like me, if you need something from the Africa Center, find one of them. Make sure you get their emails before you leave. Uh, I also want to recognize our US Army foreign area officers who were here throughout the program and who many of you knew before you came. More of you will know them in the future as they will be the leaders of our military engagement in Africa for years to come. And we're very, very grateful that they could be a part of this program. And last, I would like to thank the hotel staff who has worked very, very hard to make this a successful program for us. So please give them a hand as well. And with that, let's talk a little bit about the past three weeks. Um, and the first comment I, I would have to make, um, in, this, in, the, in the vein of Africa rising, the comments made that the real wealth of the continent is not her gold or her minerals or her oil. It is her people. And you collectively are the most eloquent demonstration of that that I can imagine. I have been tremendously impressed with each and every one of you as we have navigated this interesting voyage over the last three weeks, beginning with a focus on ethics, leadership, and governance, then transitioning to a very, very detailed and complex series of discussions about the challenges and threats that Africa faces today, concluding with our trip to Gettysburg, 
and then moving into the area of national security strategy, and finally wrapping up with some very interesting discussions about what role the external actors should play in Africa, what role you think they should play, what role they're actually playing. Very interesting <laughs> discussion on that one. And along the way, you had that leadership exercise which generated four excellent presentations capturing your consensus on what the key leadership issues were. You each worked on a paper, and I have to say, having read many of those papers, uh, collectively, that's a, a tremendously impressive body of knowledge, and I would hope each and every one of you will take the work you did on that paper home with you, continue to work on it, find opportunities to apply the innovative ideas and strategies and suggestions that you have explored in practice. And then, of course, the simulation, which we just concluded, which again, um, I've done an awful lot of these, and I have to tell you, the level of discourse that I observed in my discussion group uh, and uh, my, my colleagues, my other facilitators uh, have shared that, that they saw the same thing. The level of discourse in your groups was among the highest we've ever seen. I mean, you really came to grips with the complexities of the problems. You offered concrete suggestions. You confronted honestly and candidly the terrible challenges in dealing with that kind of situation. Many of you have experience dealing with those situations in your own countries and in Africa as a whole. Many of you will deal with them in the future. Uh, my hope is that the past three weeks will provide a better foundation for you in doing so. And part of that foundation is the networking that you have taken advantage of so clearly in getting to know each other, developing your professional relationships. And I want to talk about our TOPS programs and our alumni programs. Because, and I want to encourage you, those of you who have alumni chapters in your countries, I encourage you to become active members of those chapters, to become officers in the chapter, to help determine and shape its vision and what direction it should go. Uh, I think those chapters represent a tremendous opportunity for us collectively as security professionals to change the world, to change the things that we don't like, to reinforce the things that we do. For those of you who perhaps have groups of alumni but have not yet organized a formal alumni chapter, I would encourage you to think about that uh, and think about the role that you and your colleagues who have experienced ACSS programs might be able to play in organizing yourselves in a group that can promote security, promote professionalism, promote more effective approaches to the issues that we all deal with every day. And on that note, I want to add my compliments, my personal thanks to all of you, and I hope you will all stay in touch. Uh, mi casa su casa, my house is your house. Uh, that's my personal house and also ACSS, obviously. Um, and I hope that I will have opportunities to work with each and every one of you again in the future.